We grind tungsten carbide shafts that have two radiuses that join in the middle. We cylindrical OD grind this and often get cracking at this juncture. What can we do to get rid of this? Anytime you've got a part, now that part is going to have certain radius here, certain radius there, where we had different geometries. In your situation, you've got a cylindrical part and basically you have two geometries. I had a company in India about two years ago who had this exact same situation. They were grinding tungsten carbide shafts uh, with basically two grinding operations, cylindrical grinding, and they were get, getting cracking right at the point where they met. And they said, oh, can you help us out with reducing this cracking issue? We always get cracking during grinding. And I said, okay. I said, well, what is the radius at that juncture between those two different diameters. And they said, oh, it's, it's very, very sharp. And I said, well, how sharp? What, you know, give me a number, give me a radius. And they said, oh, we just plunge in and we have a very sharp radius. And I said, well, anytime you have a very sharp radius, you're gonna get what are called stress concentrations. So if we look here and we take a part, and there are lots of different stress concentrations, but if we take that same part and we pull on it with a certain stress, if that part has a very large radius, then that stress concentration or that magnification of the stress, that's not gonna be that big. If we take that same part and we pull on it, but that part has a very small corner radius, then the stress at that very small corner radius is gonna get magnified and is gonna be much more likely to crack. Now, tungsten carbide is a relatively brittle material so anytime we grind in the grinding zone, things are going to get hot. Hot things want to expand. When these things, hot things want to expand, but we've got material around that doesn't want to expand, we're going to induce stresses in this material. If there's a very small radius in that part, those stresses are going to be much bigger. So with this particular company in India, I said, well, I can work really hard to reduce the temperatures. I can help you with cooling. I can try to get the wheel sharper, we can do all these other things. But really, you gotta tell me what radius you have at that part, and let's go measure it. We went out, we measured the radius. It was very, very small radius. And I said, well, can you guys design the part to have just a little bit bigger radius? And they called the designer over, and he goes, oh yeah, we really have no requirements for this. I mean, it doesn't matter. And I said, well, pick a number. Better pick a big number for that radius and say, okay, we're gonna put that radius in the part. We're gonna do it with a specific grinding operation. We're gonna plunge in with a, a certain grit wheel. And what that's going to do is that larger radius is gonna reduce those stress concentrations. And you're gonna have much less likelihood of cracking that part. So we can work really hard on the grinding operations and we can do that if we have to, to reduce those temperatures. But quite often, the easy answer is, let's just make that radius a little bit bigger. Those stress concentrations are not as big. And what we're gonna find is then we can grind with our old parameters or maybe even a little more aggressive with a higher material removal rate and not have a risk of cracking that we had before.